Yes. These are my institute batch. After all, you have seen many uh, experiments in physical science, but now our 10th class batch, is, institute batch, is doing practical on electromagnetic waves. Uh, you all are plans to which class? 10th class. 10th class, very good. And these two girls are showing about details about this electromagnetic waves. You can look at here, they have done electromagnetic waves practical. You can see the electric waves and magnetic waves. We already I already explained to them about all these, how the waves are going, what is the speed of light. After that, they show, they told me, they will explain and they will do the practical. So I was very happy to listen from them. They have done a very nice job. So I want to show to you guys to learn and to motivate yourself. And you can see what they have done. Okay, can you explain about this one? Electromagnetic waves, two has three axes, x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. Our first axis is x-axis. This is x-axis, the another name of This is the x-axis, okay, very good. The another name of x-axis is propagation of wave. Propagation of wave. And this is y-axis and this is z-axis. Y-axis is also known as electric waves. Electric waves. And z-axis is also known as magnetic waves. Okay. So, she told that these have 3D model. Every time you can see on board just 2D model. X axis, Y axis. But you can see 3 axis are here. Look at here. This is the X axis. Can you confirm? Can you confirm? Okay, look at here. This is the X axis. And look at here. The blue tape was covered by Y axis. And the red colored tape was covered with Z axis. X axis, Y axis, and Z axis. The X axis shows the propagation of waves. Very good. And one shows the electric waves and other shows the magnetic waves. Okay, can you can you explain more? The top surface of electric waves is known as crust, and nice. the top surface of magnetic waves is known as crust. The distance between crust to crust and crust to crust is known as wavelength. Okay. No Oh. Number of wavelengths. Number of wavelengths in a particular type is known as frequency. Nice. Electric waves, electric field form in electric waves and magnetic field form in magnetic waves. When electric field is formed, when electric field is formed, at that time magnetic field is also formed, then it is known as electric electromagnetic. Electromagnetic waves. Okay. She explained that when electric field starts at the same time, magnetic field also starts. So they are perpendicular to each other. So they go continuously. So we this project we know as electromagnetic waves. Because of the reason we have electric field and we have magnetic field and we have the propagation of waves. Because of electric and magnetic field, these waves is known as Electromagnetic waves. Very good, nice. Oh, can you tell what is the speed of electromagnetic waves? The speed light is an electromagnetic wave with speed 3 into 10 to the power of 8 to feet meter per second. Very nice. Electromagnetic wave is characterized as wavelength and frequency. Very good. She, she told that we have everywhere, everywhere speed is there. Like speed of light is? 3 into 10 of 8 meter per second and she explained that she has done this project and very nice she told that electromagnetic waves also have the same speed equal to the speed of light that is 3 into 10 of 8 meter per, per second. second very nice very nice okay show me your project and tell me in this project what is the wavelength from this crust point to crust point is known as wavelength very nice very nice look at here look at here the tip point the peak point of this wave known as Crust. This is crust. And the downside, the peak point known as trough. From crust to crust is known as wavelength. Or from trough to trough is known as wavelength. Very nice, very nice. Now tell me, you, about what is the relation between frequency and wavelength? Relation between mu and lambda. V is equal to mu lambda, with V is the field of light. The entire range of electromagnetic frequency is also known as electronic magnetic spectrum. Electronic magnetic spectrum. Very well, 
these all have done very good job and every student has done the practical in the nice way you can see so today what we have done the project electromagnetics say thank you to your viewers thank you thank you so this is also my student i we also done a project on electromagnetic waves just you have seen before girls and now this boy has also have done very nice and he told me that he is going to tell some important points to the viewers who are going to learn about electromagnetic waves okay can you explain about electromagnetic waves this is electromagnetic waves okay this excessive light is known as propagation of waves this is why axis is known as electric waves this is galaxy light waves is known as magnetic waves very nice light is electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves are produced when electric charge is transmitted this vibration electric charge is created the changing electric field the changing electric field creates a magnetic field electron charge electromagnetic waves are produced very good he told that when some electrons when some charge vibrates at that particular time some waves will be released the waves release in the form of electromagnetic waves it means the waves start the electric waves at the same time magnetic waves also generate perpendicularly so these electro electric waves and magnetic waves and the propagation is known as electromagnetic waves 